Hello, this is Ken. Last time I talked is five different components of our being. There's our thoughts, our mind, our soul, our higher self, and our emotions. And today we're going to be talking about our thoughts. Now most people aren't even aware of what they're thinking. When I teach my workshops, I ask people, who here thinks about what they think about? And some people are like, yeah, I kind of do, I guess. And then some people are like, start looking up going, oh, do I think about what I think about? I'm not sure, do I? Uh, do I think about it? <laughs> it's so funny. Anyways, um, and then there's, there's the next question that I ask is I say, okay, so who here thinks about what they think about most of the time? And honestly, most people don't think about what they think about most of the time. They're, they're not even aware of what their thoughts are. Now, the thing is, is our thoughts combined with our emotions create our realities. So just because we don't speak something out loud, that doesn't mean it's not creating the universe and, and the synchronicities and stuff that's happening around us. It does. And it's really important for me anyways, is to be real, real careful about the thoughts that I think. So if I'm thinking unhealthy thoughts, thoughts that aren't good for me, what I attempt to do is I try to reframe it. And what reframing means is I take these so-called negative thoughts and I try to flip them into something positive that's gonna benefit me and be healthy for me. Now, if it's a real, there's times in my life when I can't help it. I'm just going on this negative rant and, and it doesn't matter how much I try to flip it and, and switch it over, that it just keeps going. In those cases, those are real deep traumas and wounds or past life stuff or whatever it might be that needs to be healed. But I'm talking about our everyday kind of thoughts and just being aware of them and trying to use our thoughts intentionally to help build up our life. Now, another thing that I get a lot of questions is, is about is how do I tell the difference between my thoughts and my intuition? That's a little bit trickier. Some people... You know, for, for me, I look at my thoughts and my thoughts are very usually direct, very specific, very like, almost like harsh. Whereas my intuition is usually very subtle, very quiet. And what I want to do and what I have been doing is practicing is telling the difference between the two and saying, okay, these are my thoughts. I don't want to listen to you. I want to listen to my intuition. And that happens over time. It takes practice, a lot of meditating, um, just observing, feeling the difference between my thoughts and, and my intuition. And the neat thing is, is when I operate in my intuition as much as possible, that's when the beauty of life happens. That's where I'm in the flow and the synchronicities and serendipities and all these wonderful things start to unfold in front of me. And, and so I ask myself, I say, okay, if my intuition is telling me to do something, I do it. If it's telling me not to do something, I don't do it. And if it's telling me to wait, I just wait. The thing is though, I like to just have fun with it. Not to be hard on yourself. And I think we've all been in times when like, oh, my intuition's telling me, told me not to do this and I went and did it anyways and look at this horrible thing that happened. It happens, it's life. And that's how, that's how I'm able to distinguish between the two is just practicing having fun, being gentle with yourself, really important. Okay, so try that out. Comment below, let me know how that works for you, the struggles you have with your discerning, the, telling the difference between your thoughts and your mind and, and, and you know, all that fun stuff. And have a wonderful day. My name's Ken.